In this demonstration we're going to look at checkpoints. Checkpoints allow me to save the state of a virtual machine and in Hyper-V Server 2016 what we have is we have two different types of checkpoints. The first type we have is a standard checkpoint and when we create a standard checkpoint Hyper-V will create an AVHD file that stores the data that differentiates the checkpoint from either the previous checkpoint or the parent virtual hard disk. And when we delete these standard checkpoints the data is either discarded or merged into the previous checkpoint of the parent. We also have production checkpoints and when we create a production checkpoint Windows Server 2016 uses volume shadow copy service. This places the virtual machine in a safe state to create a checkpoint that can be recovered in the same way as any VSS or application backup. And unlike our standard checkpoints that save all memory and processing in the checkpoint, production checkpoints are closer to a state backup. Production checkpoints require a virtual machine to start from an offline state to restore the checkpoint. So what we've done here is we've come into Hyper-V Manager. We've got two virtual machines, but what we're going to do is we're going to create checkpoints against LON-GUEST1. So what we have is we'll just highlight our LON-GUEST1. We'll just come underneath our Actions page under LON-GUEST1 and click Checkpoint. As we can see at this point here, it now creates our checkpoint. So this point here, what we've done is we've created a standard checkpoint. Another way to create a checkpoint is to actually right click on the virtual machine. And what we can do is we can checkpoint as well. And again, this will create a checkpoint. So at this point here, we're not really sure what sort of checkpoint we've created. So what we can do is if we just come to the actual virtual machine itself and just come to settings under the actions here, what we have is we have checkpoints. And if we click on checkpoints, we can see whether or not we're taking a production checkpoint or a standard checkpoint. So that point there, the two checkpoints I've just taken were both production checkpoints. So if I want to actually create a standard checkpoint, I'll just highlight standard checkpoints. We'll select OK. And what we'll do yet again is we'll just right click at this point here, click checkpoint. And at this point here, we've created our standard checkpoint. What we can also do as well is, as we can see here, is we can actually see the checkpoints. We can see our current running state to so where we're committing our changes to. What we can also do is we can manage our checkpoints as well. So if I just right click on this checkpoint, we can either apply the checkpoint, we can export it, rename it to give it maybe a meaningful name. We can delete it or we can delete the entire checkpoint subtree, which will delete, merge all of the changes back up into the parent. So this point here, all we'll do is we'll just delete checkpoint subtree click our delete button and what we've done is we've deleted everything below that checkpoint what we'll do is we'll come just back up to the first checkpoint I took we'll do exactly the same thing I'll delete the checkpoint subtree we'll select delete and that gets rid of all the checkpoints as I highlighted the very top of the hierarchy and that's the end of this demonstration of creating checkpoints thank you